Hi YouTubers, welcome back to Vintage Fashion Hat Chat. I'm Norma Shepard, the director of the Mobile Millinery Museum and the author of five books on vintage fashion, including 1,000 hats. This is October 28th. We're getting close to Halloween. And so I thought I would do um, just a little talk and pull some vintage accessories out of the archives to give you an idea of how you can create a persona um, without going full costume. You know, maybe you're going to just be answering the door to the little uh, kids on Sunday or maybe you're attending a party on that date. Actually, one of my family members is has an invitation to a wedding on that date. So that's kind of interesting. And you may not want to go full costume, like I say, but you can create a persona with just a, uh, a hat, a fascinator, or some other vintage accessories. So today I've pulled fans. Uh, quite an assortment. Some of them are modern. Some of them are vintage. They're made of different uh, fabrications, and I'll talk about that. And just as to give you an idea of how you might want to accessorize um, just for a bit of fun. Now, I'm curious because I pulled these from uh, some storage boxes that I have, and many of them I have stored in vintage glove boxes. And I know as vintage fashion lovers, many of us have multiple collections. And I'm curious to know and would love if you would let me know in the comments um, how you store yours. Do you keep them separate? All fans are completely stored as fans. Do you keep them stored with other artifacts that, that might match them or go with them? Um, in my case, I store a lot of them in the vintage glove boxes. These are fun quilted ones from the mid 20th century and they're perfect for fans they seem to be uh, the perfect length for them and so I'll get started and I'll tell you a little bit more about the hat I'm wearing at the end of this video so I'm going to start with first I'll show you this glove box gorgeous gold quilted vinyl um, again mid 20th century and this is a nice really long one um, you can see how the fan fits in there. Uh, it's got ample room. This one is contemporary. This is was a gift from a friend who lives in Madrid. And it's so pretty. So some of your stuff, of course, <laughs> it'll eventually become vintage. But if you're into um, hats, fans, gloves, whatever, uh, you find something pretty. It doesn't have to be vintage now. Very pretty. Actually coordinates not too badly with the colors of this hat. So, and pretty with the little tassel. Whoop. That's beaded. Very nice. Next one out of the box. This is one of, one of those um, fairly modern souvenir fans again. This one is from Spain. But so pretty. The lace, of course, is modern, but I'm going to show you some with some vintage lace. The spines are plastic, but just the same. Once you have a collection, of course, you could um, you can do other decorative things with them. You can, you know, if you're having uh, a little house party or um, a little tea get together, those are nice to put at everyone's place setting. Uh, have a little bit of dress up fun. Now this box is also quilted satin. It's earlier than the quilted vinyl one. This one's from the 40s. Beautiful pink satin would have looked great on a bureau. And in this box, I have another contemporary one. This fan I purchased at a museum gift shop. So again, the spines, these are plastic. The fabric isn't uh, anything very special. It looks to be uh, stiffened linen. If you're having a music theme party or this could even go in a little holder as a centerpiece and a table. These are so much fun to play with. Now here is quite an older one. The spines on this one are bone. They look like ivory, but they are not. And look at the lovely lace that's been painted. 
and also sequined. So some nice embellishment there. Very pretty one. Now here's another one. Some of these were not in perfect condition when I acquired them. There's a couple of splits in the fabric on this one, but it is trimmed in vintage lace. The spines on this fan are wooden. And it's always so nice when there's a tassel or something hanging from the bottom and that can always be added. Now, this one, this when this came to me, um, I was told that the original owner put this little black velvet ribbon on the end just to remind herself, she had a collection, that the spines on this one are French ivory. Again, such a pretty piece of lace. Interesting little sequins. They almost look like seeds. And then the round sequins as well. Hand painted. Very, very pretty. So let's see what's in some of these other boxes. Wooden boxes are great as well for storing gloves, for storing fans. And you can, you know, you can find these vintage or you can purchase them new. This one, okay, this is an oldie. It's a paper fan and it is um, one of these advert advertisement fans, 1913. And it's French. Lovely, lovely paper fan. S suffered a little bit of damage over here. The spines are very fine wood. Yeah, but you could certainly create a persona with this. Oh, a couple of feathers are floating around. Now, I have two more I want to show you that are a little more elaborate. The first is Victorian. Spines are ivory. I don't want to make myself sneeze, but this is a beauty. ostrich feathers, painted silk, and some trailing silk ribbon that has deteriorated over time. Nice to see how these different fabrications change over time. Now the next one, I'm just opening it carefully because of the feathers. These feathers have been curled. The spines are also bone, as in the earlier one I showed you. And I think some of these feathers are starting to uh, try and escape. But it's a lovely, lovely artifact from the Victorian era. And while we're speaking of that, I also want to show you um, a hat from that era. I like to <laughs> begin and end with hats. Now this one is quite exqui exquisite, quite exceptional. 
Um, this is a beautiful lace. The bavelet has been stiffened and folded and this is mirrored in the front where the lace again has been folded and stiffened to make a little brow. Could have been a, a wedding veil. But this is just, just a beautiful piece. So we have then and now. I uh, just want to say a word about this lovely fascinator. This is by Maria Kursik. You will find me talking about her hats and showing her hats many times in these videos. I'm very impressed with her work. They're just, they're just darling. Love the, um, love the scorpion. It's a very simple fascinator done on an elastic chignon strap that goes under your hair. I say it every time. It doesn't move. You know, you could wear this to a party. You could dance. It's, it's just not going to move. It's going to stay. Uh, stay the way you said it. Wonderful. I hope you're all looking forward to a happy Halloween, whether you're staying at home, going to a party, greeting the kids at the door, or uh, trekking them around town in their costumes. I hope you have an enjoyable time. Uh, I will see you Monday. In the meantime, have a happy day.